the apps you love from a place you can trust. Trust is a very unique word. On the App Store and the Google Play Store, you have to trust these vendors that they're actually auditing the apps. Let me introduce you to F-Droid. F-Droid is an app store which only has Libre free and open source software. Let's search the F-Droid store for a gallery app. Click on the first one and let's scroll down. You can read the permissions the app requires, the latest build of the app. You can get the exact source code for this app. You can get the build log, PGP signature, and you can get the final binary APK. All the apps in the native F-Droid repository are reproducible. Anyone can run the server and you get the exact same result. Another way F-Droid is better than Google Play is you can run your own server, you can make your own rules, you can run your own repository. That way you can push updates whenever you'd like and there wouldn't be any censorship. Another reason is you can download alternative F-Droid clients. So for example, Foxydroid, it looks little better. There's also Aurora Droid with material design built right into it. This might feel a bit more appealing to generic users. The F-Droid website, hit the blue download button, download the APK, open it, enable the setting and install it. Let's launch it. Now it's checking for updates and downloading the latest repository. Once that is done, you can change some settings like the theme to dark theme or night mode. Add some repositories. For example, let's enable the Guardian project which contains the Tor browser. Certain app developers host their own repositories to have full control on how they publish apps. So we can copy this link, go back to F-Droid, press the plus button and add this repo. If a certain app is not on the F-Droid store, you can add it via a certain repository. You can even add proprietary apps if you wish you can use the F-Ride store on your own terms. But I'll be sticking to free and open source apps. Now let's download some app like GoodTime. So I hit download, I click on the app. And you should enable the source again if you get this prompt. And let's hit install. Let's go back to our home screen. And here is the app. You can remove the app straight from the home screen or you can go to F-Droid and you can remove it. This might seem fussy for some people. If you're rooted though, you can install something called this F-Droid privilege extension using Magisk which automates the update process seamlessly. Some other cool features are offline sharing of apps using F-Droid through a proxy like Tor and deferring updates if you wish. It seems though Google is making third-party App Store integration a thing with Android 12, but we have to wait for that. On iPhones, iPads and iOS devices, there's no way to sideload apps. The only way to get apps, seemingly, is to use PWAs or progressive web apps. It's basically HTML websites with shortcuts to your home screen, like this. If you'd like, I can make a video on Aurora Droid. It's a material design good looking client for F-Droid. That would be a subject of another video. That's the end of this video. Follow my channel on Odyssey and on PureTube. Thanks for watching and stay away from Google.